Hello and welcome to an Art Master Studio tutorial. Uh, my name's Toby and today I'm going to be showing you something a little bit different. Usually I'm doing painting tutorials. Today I thought I'd show you how to uh, edit your photos that you've taken of your miniatures. Um, today I'm making an advert for the studio so I thought I'd run you through that process. So uh, you want to get yourself a copy of Adobe Photoshop and open your desired uh, image. Then first of all um, I've just cropped it um, using the crop tool here so we can get it um, so it is, you know, get rid of the excess white around the edge of the photo first just to make it more manageable. Now I want to cut the photo out so what I'm going to do first is duplicate the layer by right clicking, clicking duplicate, click OK. That way we can hide the background so that when we cut the white out um, you won't be able to see the picture behind it. Uh, that will make sense later on. Alright so now we're on the background copy layer here I'm going to click the uh, highlight tool here so I'm just gonna click, I've got the tolerance on 50% right now um, basically the uh, the less tolerance there is um, I'll show you, it highlights less so all these little bits here aren't highlighted and the more you have the more is highlighted so that's actually looking a bit better um, but we need to check to make sure it's not highlighted things we don't want to highlight so obviously I've clicked on the white area but because there's a lot of white on these figures um, like the straps it may have highlighted those as well so I'm going to click on this button here which um, basically shows you all the red is the area that we're saving and all the white area is the area we're deleting so as you can see part of the flag is cut out glove the pom-pom trousers etc so we need to go in and manually fix those so I'm going to zoom in using the magnifying tool start on the far left here so what we do is we get our paintbrush tool here uh, make sure it's of a suitable size and then we're just going to paint over um, by left clicking all of the areas that we want to keep if you hold shift uh, and click in a different area it basically pulls in a, a straight line so that's quite uh, quite helpful so we don't need to be too accurate because we are quite zoomed in right now so if we uh, end up going over the lines a little bit it doesn't matter too much I mean, we will try and be as accurate as possible but uh, when we zoom out it's not going to be as noticeable as it is right now so again just go around it's mainly on the edges of the uh, figures um, if you have um, contiguous uh, unclicked then it will highlight all of that particular color that you've clicked so if I click on the white it would highlight all of the trousers even if they're not on the edge so make sure you don't have that uh, off so you have to have a lot of patience for this uh, we generally only do this on um, pictures that we're using for adverts uh, or for promotional purposes of any kind but if you've got a lot of spare time on your hands then it's uh, it's worth doing because it makes your photos look a lot nicer in the end you can give them a nice background get rid of any greyish paper that you might have uh, taken them on taken the photo on So we're already about halfway through, so that's pretty good. Not taking too long. 
So what I want to do now up here, because it's quite a large area, I'm going to increase the size of my brush by clicking on this and then changing the master diameter just so we can get that bit done a bit quicker. And also if you go over the lines, if you pre press Control alt z at the same time, it will undo your um, last uh, input. So as you can see, my brush is too big for those bits there, so I'm just going to shrink it down again. Photoshop is full of all kinds of shortcuts, um, most of which <coughs> I'm not familiar with, but as long as you know the most important ones, then you can save yourself some time. Um, I might make a actual photo photography tutorial if you would like to see how to take nice photos of your miniatures let me know if that's something you'd be interested in in the comments below um, we've recently actually reached um, a thousand subscribers on our YouTube channel so um, I think it'd be nice if we do a giveaway of some kind uh, just to celebrate that and to thank everyone for continuing to subscribe to the channel and to to watch our videos so look out for that in the near future I know we've been a bit slow uploading content lately but we've just been extremely busy it's been a, a very very busy year for us uh, basically non-stop uh, commissions coming in so you know you can't complain but it does uh, does stop you sometimes from doing other things that you might might want to do like making more videos for the channel and more tutorials which is a shame alright so now we've uh, covered that now we need to delete the in-between areas that we didn't catch uh, before. So if we click on this eraser tool here, then we can do the same thing, but on the areas we want to get rid of. So I'm just going around the edge first. As I said before, don't have to be 100% accurate, just just roughly. and if there's an area that's quite small like between the arm here don't have to worry too much about that I mean could change change the brush size and just squeeze through there There's a little bit of grit there that was behind that figure in the photo. Have to watch out for those as well because those will get picked out by the highlight tool. So we're nearly done. So as this is a larger area, we'll just go around it with the small brush. And then pick out a larger brush. Back to the small brush. Okay, that's done. Why 
one more little bit. Uh, possibly do this bit here as well. I think there was a little bit next to the flag as well. Yeah, we'll do this. This will be the last bit. And then the magic really happens after this. Alright, that will do. So then if I press control zero, that will get the picture to fit on my screen. That looks good to me. So now if I click this button here and then click Control X, that cuts out the background. Um, so you see if we had the background layer on, we wouldn't be able to tell what was cut out and what wasn't. So that's why I've done that. So here I have a template for our adverts. So I'm just going to click and drag that onto this file. Uh, and then I'll minimize that, get that out of the way. So as you can see, it doesn't quite fit on. Um, so we need to make that a little bit smaller. So if I go to Edit, Transform, Scale, uh, then I can either go up the top, if I click this, and then change the percentage to something like 80%, that will change the image to 80% of its size. I can move it across. See that just about doesn't fit once more. So if I do that again and change that to uh, 75, see what happens there. That looks good to me. So if I press enter, that will save that um, change. Just got to wait for that to save. There we go and then I can just nudge it over by clicking on the image using the arrow keys to nudge it left and right one one uh, bit at a time and then I might want to change the contrast of the figures they look slightly uh, washed out um, so if I you can do it quickly by doing control shift L that changes the contrast to a more um, a mix between the brightness and the contrast it, it's optimum the control shift L basically does that. It doesn't always work so you might have to do it manually. If you do it manually go to uh, image adjustments brightness and contrast and then you can make it darker and lighter to suit your needs and mess about with the contrast however you like um, obviously that looks no good so we're just gonna stick with what we've got. Click cancel I think that looks quite nice. So um, there you have a cropped and cut out photo. Uh, if you have any questions leave them below um, and if you'd like to see more tutorials like this let me know. Also uh, remind me that you'd like to see the photo tutorial on how I take my photos and I'll try and get that done. So thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.